In this example, we're asked to find the center radius form of an equation of a circle with center negative 2, negative 4, and tangent to the x-axis. A line tangent to a circle touches it in exactly one point. Here's an example of a circle tangent to the x-axis. It touches in that one point. So from that point to the center, that is called your radius, which is your y value because notice y goes up and down vertically versus horizontal axis is this way. So anytime it's tangent to x, it's your y value that's your radius. And then the opposite. If it's tangent to y, meaning it touches the y axis at one point, then that point from where it touched to the center, that's your radius. So your x value then would be your radius. Now let's proceed with solving this problem. A circle with a center negative 2, negative 4, tangent to the x-axis. Remember, if it's tangent to the x-axis, then that means it is your y value that is going to be your radius. So r is going to be negative 4. Now to sketch that, we're going to go ahead and plot the center, which is over negative 2 and then down negative 4. And then we're going to go four units out. So even though it says negative four, remember with measurements, measurements are never thought of as, as negative. You're just going to simply go four left, four right, four up, four down after you plot the center. So this is what your circle is going to look like. Now let's go ahead and write an equation for that. We're going to write it in center radius form and recall that uh, your h value is your x value, so x equals negative 2, and k is going to be negative 4, and r, remember, is the negative 4 there, uh, your radius, which is the same thing as 4, your 4 units from uh, that point there. So we're going to go ahead and place the negative 4 there we're in r's place. Remember, double negatives become positive, so that's going to be uh, x plus 2 squared plus y plus 4 squared equals, and then negative 4 squared is 16, and you have your equation of a circle that's tangent to the x-axis.